As we enter into prayer today, we're asked to remember in a special way the people of the parish. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. In order to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, you my brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned sin in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, pour into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I could not talk to you as spiritual people, but as fleshy people, as infants in Christ. I fed you milk, not solid food, because you were unable to take it. Indeed, you are still not able, even now, for you are still of the flesh. While there is jealousy and rivalry among you, are you not of the flesh and walking according to the manner of man? Whenever someone says, I belong to Paul, and another, I belong to Apollos, are you not merely men? What is Apollos, after all, and what is Paul? Ministers through whom you became believers, just as the Lord assigned each one. I planted, Apollos watered, but God caused the growth. Therefore, neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything, but only God who causes the growth. He who plants and he who waters are one, and each will receive wages in proportion to his labor. For we are God's co-workers. You are God's field, God's building. The word of the Lord. Thank you, be to God. The response is, blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. From heaven the Lord looks down, he sees all mankind. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. From his fixed throne he beholds all who dwell on the earth. He who fashioned the heart of each, he who knows all their works. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. For in him our hearts rejoice. In his holy name we trust. Blessed the Lord, the people has chosen for his own. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. After Jesus left the synagogue, he entered the house of Simon. Simon's mother in law was afflicted with a severe fever, and they interceded with him about her. He stood over her, rebuked the fever, and it left her. She got up immediately and waited on them. 
As sunset, all who had sick people with various diseases brought them to him. He laid his hands on them and cured them. And demons also came out from many, shouting, You are the Son of God. But he rebuked them and did not allow them to speak, because they knew that he was the Christ. At daybreak, Jesus left and went to a deserted place. The crowds went looking for him, and when they came to him, they tried to prevent him from leaving them. But he said to them, To the other towns also I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God, because for this purpose I have been sent. And he was preaching in the synagogues of Judea. <coughs> the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Do you remember the days of learning handwriting, learning to write? You'd have like that solid line, right? The dotted line, another solid line. Maybe there was even a traced dotted letter you just had to trace over your capitals, your lowercase. Is someone still doing that for you today? How's it going? <laughs> Right, what, what's the goal? That at first you are literally tracing someone else's dotted line. Then, then you're at least working within the big dotted line. And then you are on wide rule paper. Then you're on college rule paper, right? You've made it. <laughs> By then you're writing love poems to the, to the girl down the, down the row instead of paying attention to the, to the professor, right? Like you're learning to write. These basic skills are really being handed to you so that not only will you master writing, but you'll start to find ways to express and enter into really that gift of, of ideas and thoughts and, and being able to write for yourself. I wonder if in some ways it's kind of in St. Paul's heart. Like He's like, listen to this group, they're divided. Ah, I learned from Paul. No, 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 I learned from Apollos. And he's like, it's nothing, it's nothing, you know. You know, the Lord has given us each something. What is Apollos? What is Paul? We're just humans trying to, trying to give you some basics. I planted Apollos water. God caused the growth. We're going to fade away. But, but it's, it's going to be your relationship with God that matters. That's it. Early on, someone kind of taught you the basics of the pray. Say the words with me. You know, and, and, and you said that, that first, our Father, that Hail Mary, that now would lay me down to sleep. And then maybe they opened it up for you. Well, what do you want to pray for today? You know, what are you grateful for today? And as a kid, you're able to kind of name some of those things. Are you, are you still there? Are you, are you still kind of at that basic level waiting for someone to, to frame the prayer for you? Do, you? do you come across a gospel like this and say, yeah, you know, Father's going to have to explain to me a little bit more about um, what is it... Um, to do with the title, Son of God, according to, to Luke. Or maybe this, this healing, right. Remember, in Mark, it's the first healing, so it's the model healing for all other healings that follow. Yeah, Father, say those pretty words. It makes me feel good, right? No, I'm not. I'm done making dotted letters for you. Why? I want you to be able to enter into this and say, Lord, okay, I get it. I know there's some basic structures out there, and I could find a commentary, but Lord, what am I drawn to today? What am I... In this story, catching my attention, why did he stop? Could he have done more? What were the other places he had to go to? At sunset, they brought people to him. At sunset, sucked. Does that mean he worked all night long? By daybreak, he's going to a deserted place. Do they not really give him a chance to, to rest? How tired were you, Jesus? I'm tired some days. People come to me a lot. That's it. What is leaping in your heart? You're in college now. You're writing the love poems. You've learned the words. Someone traced the letters for you. And now it's time for you to say, Lord, I want to enter into this prayer on my own. It's no longer Paul or Apollos or Father O'Connor or any other one. It's, it's you and I. This, this relationship is now somewhere deep that, that I, can, I can go on my own. As Jesus moves away, the people are left with that opportunity, that, that challenge to say, right, right. No one's tracing the letters for me anymore. It's, it's time for me to, to go there myself, Lord, and enter in and see where you will encounter me in my prayer. Let's go deeper. Let's go deeper in love.
Let's stand together and make our, our needs known to our God today. We pray in thanksgiving for church leaders who did help us and teach us to pray for the first times. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in gratitude for family members who have gone before us and passed down that gift of faith for us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the, the patience, the courage with ourselves in our own prayer life to continue to, to learn to breathe and to live and to, to pray on our own. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are lonely, for those who struggle, those who need company, especially those who are sick and have asked for our prayers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray as requested in this Mass for the people of the parish. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all of our beloved deceased, especially those who have died in these, these days and, and the families who have struggled to grieve them appropriately. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's take another moment of silence. Bring God the prayers and petitions of our heart. For one of those needs, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we thank you for the many people who have led us closer to you. Allow us on our own to grow deeper and deeper and be led by you in this relationship. We ask that we would trust you more and more to answer the prayers we bring to you today through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord receive the sacrifice from your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for the of the Holy Church. May this <clears throat> sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We have lifted them up to the Let Lord. us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right to give you thanks, truly just to give you glory, Father most holy. For you are the one God, living and true, existing before all ages and abiding for all eternity, dwelling in unapproachable light. Yet you who alone are good, the source of life, have made all that is, so that you might fill your creatures with blessings and bring joy to many of them by the glory of your light. And so in your presence are countless hosts of angels who serve you day and night, and gazing upon the glory of your face, glorify you without ceasing. With them, we too confess your name in exaltation, giving voice to every creature under heaven as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord. God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We give you praise, Father most holy, for you are great, and you have fashioned all your works in wisdom and in love. You formed man in your own image and entrusted the whole world to his care, so that in serving you alone, the Creator, he might have dominion over all creatures. And when, through disobedience, he had lost your friendship, you did not abandon him to the domain of death. For you came in mercy to the aid of all, so that those who seek might find you. Time and again you offered them covenants, and through the prophets taught them to look forward to salvation. <coughs> and you so loved the world, Father most holy, that in the fullness of time you sent your only begotten Son to be our Savior, made incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He shared our human nature in all things but sin, to the poor, he proclaimed the good news of salvation. To prisoners, freedom, and to the sorrowful of heart, joy. To accomplish your plan, he gave himself up to death. And rising from the dead, he destroyed death and restored life. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again for us. He sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as the first fruits for those who believe. 
so that, bringing to perfection his work in the world, he might sanctify creation to the full. Therefore, O oh Lord, we pray. Therefore, O oh Lord, we pray. May this same Holy Spirit graciously sanctify these offerings, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, for the celebration of this great mystery, which he himself left us as an eternal covenant. For when the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, Father most holy, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. And while they were at supper, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you in need of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, Taking the chalice, filled with the fruit of the vine, he gave thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the death of the Lord until you come again. Therefore, O oh Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of our redemption, we remember Christ's death and his descent to the realm of the dead. We proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand. And as we await his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, the sacrifice acceptable to you, which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O Lord, upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church and grant in your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and one chalice that gathered into one body by the Holy Spirit, they may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your glory. Therefore, Lord, remember now all for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially your servant Francis, our Pope, Douglas, our Bishop, and the whole order of bishops, all the clergy, those who take part in this offering, those gathered here before you, your entire people, and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. To all of us, your children, grant, O merciful Father, that we may enter into a heavenly inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your apostles and saints in your kingdom. There, with the whole of creation, freed from the corruption of sin and death, May we glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. spiritual communion for those who cannot be with us this morning. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts 
and stir us to serve you in our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Continue our novena prayer. O Mary, Mary full of grace, grace, patron of the nation, and mother of the church, the church, in this time of illness and worldwide need, we seek your intercession for the human family before your Son's throne of grace and mercy. We ask for strength and adversity, help and weakness, and comfort and sorrow. Help us, O Blessed Mother, to be filled with confidence and trust in the tender compassion of our God. Let us not be afraid, like our own St. Mary of Hope, who entrusted her life and ministry among the outcasts of society into the care of our divine physician. Continue to watch over all who are sick, as well as those who care for them, and give wisdom to all who are seeking to We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Amen. Enjoy the day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.